fellow YouTube and lightsaber community, it's Darth Fatal here. Today it's going to be an unboxing of a Vader's Vault heavy grade dueling blade and a Vader's Vault thin walled standard, both with shine through. Just received this today. I am eager to have received this because I love the thin walled, um, the lightness to it, especially with a heavy saber like a cross guard per se. My Templar is really, really heavy and to have a saber forged blade on it is, uh, is a pretty tall task. So I like to use my, my red day blade for that purpose, but I can't change colors on that, so I ordered a clear one. And I uh, I ordered a dueling of heavy grade Vader's Vault just for the kicks of it, um, just to see what it, if it would stand up to the Saber Forge V4 Infinity Edge. So if you can see here the packaging packaging for Vader's Vault here for two blades, you can see the end caps here. Pull them out. On every Vader's Vault blades, on every single one, you will receive one of these on your blades. Superb. Vader's Vault is a really good company for blades, I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at how professional that is. It's got my receipt on here. They, they cushion the, the, um, the packaging here. Rubber bands on the end. I ordered these about a week ago and I received them uh, today. So that's a pretty fast turnaround. Um, the last time I ordered blades, I ordered my Photon blade uh, and my uh, my day blades and my, my Quillians for my cross guard. Um, and it took a little longer probably because of the photon blade uh, to manufacture, but no worries. Um, on here you can see uh, the inscription here, 36, um, S and B, I believe that is, oh no, I can feel it. This one is the, is the dueling one, it's a little heavier. And then this one is, is the thin walled here. So let's crack her open. I do not have my Templar on hand, but I do have um, a saber of mine that I got at Star Wars Celebration from a vendor. I forget the name of their company, but it has been my go-to stunt saber for the longest time here. This is what it looks like. This is also with the Vader's Vault Finwald Dayblade. Just for comparison, this is what it looks like. Um, with day, with the with the light, it's not fully charged To These take uh, three triple A's, so it's not as, the brightness is comparable to uh, one die in a Templar activated. Um, when this thing is fully charged compared to the Templar when it's like maybe half battery. So, uh, it's decent. Um, anyway, so this is what it looks like uh, when it's sort of maybe medium battery for this. Um, still, it still really works. If I go out in the day with this thing, it's I can tell it's on. So, this is the... Vader's Vault heavy grade dueling blade. I love the bullet tips on these guys. They're so cool. Um, I got the shine through on both of them. And this is the thin wall. Do you, I can really tell this is the thin wall by the weight. And you get the blade cap. I like to put the stickers on the ones I use a lot. It's a habit of mine from X-Wing Miniatures. Um, not so much difference between weight here. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell which one is which here. This is this is the thin walled here. That is like for spinning 
it's great for spinning. At least I use it with uh, my my uh, day blade here. Uh, so this is great for spinning and uh, cosplay. And then this here, I went ahead and uh, ordered um, a dueling blade just for uh, just for toying around with. And uh, it looks like it is maybe five millimeters. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's you can tell it's a dueling blade because it's thicker than this one. If I if you ever get mixed up, um, not so much weight difference. Uh, you can definitely tell this one's heavier. Um, that being said, uh, usually with a thicker plastic, it might show up brighter um, because of the diffusion the light has to go through. Um, so let me, let me put in my, let me put, put this in. I have a thumb screw on this one instead of a, a, uh, pretension screw. So this is the thin wall. And it, it's, uh, distributes the light. It's a little, uh, compared to my, um, my, uh, day blade it's a uh, little more pink ish because the red isn't as vibrant because with the day blade obviously um, granted this isn't fully charged it looks kind of orange on camera here um, but yeah this is this is basically the same blade as this I just prefer this one with my red because this is a red LED I, I'll probably always use this one anyway this I got this for my mainly my Templar so I could spin it around and still have the same weight uh, and not a big bulky like Saber Forge blade um, so that is the thin mold uh, you can see the shine through tip right there kind of looks a little wonky in person but I still like it uh, I love the uh, tips on Vader's vault a little better than the Saber Forge ones because they're a little less discreet um, the Saber Forge ones you can kind of see the screw uh, the threading on the on the tip uh, plus the the shine through you can really notice the shine through on, on these I love that little flip I might take it out of here the, the thing is with uh, Vader's vault blades you gotta watch when you take it out, uh, like this this diffusion film here, because of the suction of you're taking it out, it it, it kind of redraws and sucks out. But um, I don't know. A little side note. So this is the thick wall on a not so fully charged uh, off-brand saber that is a stunt. On this one. It's basically the same thing. You can notice a little dip, and uh, at least on the camera, um, in person it is fully illuminated. Uh, same with the last one. Um, this one, uh, it's not so heavy, but it's it's a uh, more of a medium. I still really wouldn't do with this because of the quality of the blade. I'm not saying it's possible because this is meant for dueling um but you get the qualities of the thin walled um with the with the look and um and it's you can duel with this thing i it, this uh, it just really feels brittle i really don't want to touch it i trust saber forge blades um because they are warranted and uh if, if you mess it up, you can always say, hey, shoot them an email, hey, my, my blade broke, or if you still have that year, or if you get an extended warranty on your products that you order. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this has been my unboxing and review. Slight, uh, smaller video of uh, Vader's Vault. Uh, the Vader's Vault Blades. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.